popular Harry Potter author named J.K. Rowling has been cancelled for some recent transphobic tweets. In this video, you'll be hearing my thoughts. Let's get into the video. <music> Subscribe, it does a lot in encouraging me. Let's get into the video. It all started when author of the famous series Harry Potter posted some tweets that might be considered as transphobic, transphobic, transphobic on her Twitter handle. This is what she said If sex isn't real, there is no same sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. That is the initial tweet that she posted. And she didn't stop there. She continued saying, The idea that women like me who have been empathetic to trans people for decades feeling kinship because they are vulnerable in the same way as women that is to make violence hate trans people because they think sex is real and has lived consequences it's a nonsense that was when she started to get the backlash but she tried to regroup herself by saying I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I will match with you if you are discriminated, discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it's proper. Hateful to say so. So let me tell you what is happening. Jacob Rowling thought it was best to wake up from her bed during Pride Month to start posting transphobic tweets. According to her, it's not hateful. According to some people's supporters, it's not hateful. While according to some other guys, it's extremely hateful and transphobic. They felt that she, some people felt that she's attacking them, that she only attacked them when they are, decided to stand up for their rights. Okay, let's look at some more tweets from replies. So Javia Munoz said, <laughs> Your transphobic, divisive, inhumane, disgusting opinions are 100% the problem. Take your voice, your franchise, your presence, and be gone. Evan Nesco. Pride Month, and I stand with my entire LGBTQ plus community, especially my trans family. So that's what one Javier Mono said. Another person replied, This woman is a complete short you transphobic. You don't know or love any trans people if you won't even acknowledge their existence. Thanks for reading the books of my childhood. Just stop talking. We know you you don't need to keep doing this. Another commenter, which actually supported Jacob Rowling, said, How is what she said anti-trans? These people are honestly pretty damn thick, that's for sure. Actually, I kind of support this statement. I don't know if you are against. Please enlighten me in the comment section. I don't feel what she said is really, like, transphobic. She just stated her mind, but if you... If you if you are against, please comment in the comment section. Let me be enlightened. Thank you. Adam Ripon said, I just donated $1,000 to the Okra project because trans people matter, black trans people matter, and Jacob Rowling's backward opinion and her posted tweets. Well, that was a little harsh. Twitter people, they are very, very harsh. They are, mm, you need to have some level of thick skin to be on Twitter. But that is that guy's opinion. Let's keep on going. So Jack said, 
translation you used to be okay with us until we actually start speaking up for ourselves as i said before jk rowling's opinion came upon the wrongest timing the poor timing this pride month you are not meant to be against you are not meant to be against these people they have been speaking out for thousands of years but you know that's her so this one said Lana Del Rey and J.K. Rowling battling out to be the most hated white man. This is very funny because it's true. But another user called Deep Sea, they said J.K. Rowling getting ready to post her 37 transphobic tweet of the day because she needs the attention. Well, um, I don't think it is true. Let's move on. Another person called Mega Marco said, Jacob Rowling made the made the Asian person go by Cho Chang and put her in the Neddy house. The only Irish kid someone who liked to blow off Ira. The goblins were a whole ass Irish man troop and she called him on Yo, you got to let that woman go years ago. Well, I don't know how true this is. I'm not really a Jacob Rowling person or fan and I don't monitor her. But this might be true. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section. J.K. Rowling stood by a statement in another tweet. She said, people who menstruate, I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Moonben, Wimpond, Moonmond. Been on creating a more equal post. Word for people who menstruate. Alright, she's trying to be funny here. She's trying to specify that it's only, according to her, it's only women that menstruate. And if you don't menstruate, you are sort of less than a woman, according to these tweets. And that's how some people interpreted it. But how did you interpret it? Do you think what she's saying is very wrong or not that bad? What do you think? Tell me in the comment section. Another person supported her, Rita Panier, is saying, J.K. Rowling is painfully woke on just about every issue, but because she deviates slightly from one topic, she deems calm and an inhumane. Mm. So she's supporting her. She's saying that people normally support J.K. Rowling when she speaks on other issues, that she's very woke. But once she devi deviates from what she normally speaks about, even slightly, that people will attack her and she's deemed that is scum and inhumane. Another person said, J.K. Rowling is about to be eaten by the same generation her ridiculous books helped create. Number one, number one, and I'll say it again, her books are not ridiculous. Harry Potter is a phenomenal, is excellent. Don't call it ridiculous. Don't you ever call it ridiculous. So, so we have come to the end of this video. Tell me what you think. Do you support J.K. Rowling or are you against her? Let me know in the comment section. And if you are new here, please like and subscribe and comment. It does a lot in encouraging me to post more. Thank you. I love you. Bye.